Welcome back, everyone. Sheepdog Smokey here, and we have more from the inimitable Kirsten Gillibrand, who is, despite having claimed that she will serve out her full six-year sentence if re-elected New York Senator next year, uh, she's also running for president. Uh, that's a whole other video I've already done. But she also says she would not detain any illegal aliens, despite confirmed reports that about 30% or more are not actually families. We have about a third that DNA testing has proven they're not related in any way. And we have also made sure to confirm the whole step-parent, step-child, or whatnot relationship. And that's not the case either. And we have a lot of people who are denying the test and just saying, I'm not, I'm not related to the kid. But Senator Gillibrand is not going to detain anyone. And of course, one of her biggest things is that they don't need to be incarcerated. If they are given a lawyer and given a process, they will follow it. They can go into the community in, in the way we used to handle these cases under the Department of Justice. Senator, I would love to see you quote actual numbers of these illegal aliens who are just released into the, the wild of the U.S. who actually show up for their court date. Please, I want to see the numbers. Because if it's true that they're all coming just for a better life and they would all show up for their court date, how did uh, the idiot manage to kill Kate Steinle, or the one who killed the, the state troopers in California, or Corporal Singh, or the MS-13 idiots who rape and murder all over New York? But you see, this is not about being humanitarian. This is the same crap we get from idiots like O'Rourke when they start going off on just rants and raves about another, another migrant passed away in uh, ICE custody, and we need to know why. And I can tell you exactly why, O'Rourke. If you had a brain between your head and weren't eating verdant turds, uh, yes, look that up, he's actually talked about serving them. But if you had a brain in your head, you'd know that, you know, if people leave Honduras or Guatemala and walk the entire length of Mexico, dragging their children or other people's children, their health is going to be horrible when they get to our border. So a child arrives horribly, horribly sick. And unfortunately, the medical staff at the border are not wizards. See, we don't just wave a magic wand like in Harry Potter and people miraculously find themselves healed. When someone drags a child through a walking hell for weeks on end or longer and the child arrives horribly, horribly sick, that's not on the people who stop them at the border. That's on the adult who dragged a child through the desert, planning to use that child to say, look, I have child, let me in, you must let me in. But you see, idiots like Gillibrand and O'Rourke and Harris and the rest of them don't care. They know the logic of it, they have to, and they actively ignore it. Because they want to pull on the heartstrings of the young and stupid who actually believe that immigration is a right. Even though they see the stories where Mexico all but flies people to the black hole of Calcutta for daring to enter their country illegally. A very recent, well, not recent, but a most recent story I've read was on a, about a couple on vacation entered the country legally. The woman was thrown in jail for cough drops, because they said it was drugs. They didn't release her for quite some time. When they finally did, the person who escorted them to the airport actually said, do you want to buy more of those things we threw away? Admitted that they threw away some, they stopped her for something that was stupid and wrong, and offered to let her buy more. Or of the U.S. serviceman, who was trying to get the people at the border crossing in Southern California to let him turn around and not enter Mexico. You see, he had been to the range, if I remember right, and had a firearm in his vehicle, legally in his vehicle for the state of California, if you can believe that anyone's able to do that. But they wouldn't let him. They forced him to pull forward. When he got to Mexico, they searched his car. They found the gun. He disappears into a Mexican prison. And... Months, months, and months, and more go by. And, of course, silence from the Democrats, who don't care if American citizens are thrown in jail in Mexico 
They only want to make sure that foreign people, foreign citizens are allowed to just walk into our country at any time, do as they please, and depend on some idiot like Governor Moonbeam uh, in California to pardon them. Yes, Newsom is actually pardoning illegal aliens of their crimes, not for being illegal aliens, of other crimes they've committed so that they can get out of jail before ICE comes to get them. This insanity has to stop. I've made the analogy before. This country is our home. I wonder what would happen if a few thousand people surrounded Senator Gillibrand's home, banging on her gates, saying, we, we, seek a, we, want, we want asylum, we need asylum in your home, started climbing the walls, breaking into her house and saying, oh, I, I'm here for asylum. What would happen then is very easy to tell, because it happened at Nancy Pelosi's house. Arrested, taken to jail, or daring to violate the borders of their property. But when it comes to our national borders, which of course they don't live anywhere near, we're to leave them open. And we have idiots like Acosta who goes to McAllen, where there's a wall, or O'Rourke who goes to El Paso, where there's a wall. And they talk about how we don't need the wall because look, the crime is low here because there is a wall. Make no mistake. If Gillibrand maintains any form of power, she's going to continue on this idiotic kick to disband our law enforcement community not in, so we can't enforce any of our laws, and our country will be overrun. I've made, the, I've made the prediction before, and I'll make it again here. If the Democrats manage to steal their way back into power in 2020, this country will splinter and break. I don't know if it'll be 50 states or if it'll be a lower number because some states band together. But I can tell you, Texas will not be ruled by a tyrant. We've seen that under the rule of Mexico prior to our independence. So we won't be ruled by a tyrant. We will secede and we will maintain it. And we will build a wall on our own border. And we will wall it off, and we will control our own immigration. And our state, our new country at that point, will have very low crime. Because the people coming in are coming in legally. Merit-based immigration is not anything that anyone in the Republican Party or anyone with half a brain opposes. Merit-based immigration is where someone comes to the door and knocks. Generally, they go to the American embassy or a consulate in their country, and they apply to get into the U.S. And they say, I am a doctor, I am an engineer, I am a this, I am a that. That person has a skill that will benefit society. We want those. We don't want the people who have zero skills, who don't speak our language, and frankly right now, who would drag a child through a walking hell to get to our border to then say, that, oh look, child, you have to let me in. We don't want those because those people are never going to provide a benefit to society in any way. They're going to sit and suck welfare and WIC and food stamps dry. We need to work for American citizens first, which means close the border. They can go to the embassy, they can ask to come in, and if they're approved, they get to come in. Other than that, shut it down. Get our American citizens off the streets. Stop the insanity of San Francisco where they actually have poop police. If you've looked at a map of San Francisco where they tell you where to avoid because of human waste, it's virtually the entire city. And they wonder why people are abandoning. And idiots like this are going to do it to the entire country. But I've talked about it long enough. I'm getting a headache. Let me know what you think. Keep it civil. We, we don't learn from argument. We learn from debate. Also, remember, please, to like and share this video, as well as to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you are among the first to know of all new content as it is posted. Until next time, everyone have a wonderful day.